Las Vegas Metro informed me that they have an IP ping on two wanted fugitives that are staying at the hotel. He might be suicidal, which tells me he possibly might have a firearm. You never know when people are gonna throw out the last hurrah and try to shoot out the police. It happens all the time. Sure gonna tell you this rip. It's Knight County Sheriff's Office. Come out. The whole building's surrounded. You got multiple cops in here. We're not going away. Sheriff's office, Victor, come outside. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Are you Victor? No, I'm Carlos. All right, Carlos, never mind. Just come out. Come, just come out, though. Is everything okay? Man? We have a wanted such sus bleh, subject in either your room or this room, and you're not our guy. No, it's not. So, <laughs> can you walk back to that officer right there for me, bud? Put the weapon down. Come out with your hands up, okay? Hey! Mark, do you need to get ahead of me? Come on, baby. Two wanted suspects. They uh, took off. We're in the pursuit. We're in the hunt. This guy's got 15 felony warrants. His girl's also on the run. They're uh, they're Bonnie and Clyding it, man, and it's it's not cool. This guy is, uh, he's got some balls. Mary, two, three, four, California. Copy. So we're going through the mountain now, over the, over this hill. We're gonna be in Las Vegas. We have NHPs up here. They're gonna set up a spike. Hopefully we're able to spike this guy and get him. We're, we've, been go, we've been driving for about 35, 40 miles. Oh, so right behind So, looks like he hit the spike strip. And he's still going, so. They're just riding the rims now. Did you hear that? So they're riding the rims. Might be first with the night junction and game out there. So we're in Las Vegas. Um, yeah. Viva Las Vegas. I have never seen anybody in my career go this long on two tires like that. This is coming to an end soon. 25 0, but you call back and let HP through. He just spun out. Behind you, behind you, behind you. Come behind you. Right behind you, right behind you, right behind you. 4A, possibly has a firearm. Possibly has a firearm. So we open the door. Passenger, slowly. Step out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Up, get your hands up, get your hands up. Walk forward. Driver, step out of the vehicle with your hands in the air. Step out. Keep your hands in the air. Turn away from me. Walk back to me. Walk back. Stop. Get to your knees. Fall to your knees. Put your hands behind your head. Cross your feet. Don't move. Hey, bud, why'd you jump out the window? Are you okay? 
Well, hey, bud, I just want to tell you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used in the court of law. The camera, you have the right to you. an attorney. If you don't can't afford one, want to be appointed to you. you want to yeah, okay. Yeah. This guy needed to get off the street. He has about 15 warrants, so he's going to be going to jail, and so is she. They're both going to jail today. Cool. We're out of here. Being dispatched to call where RP states that someone's shooting at his house and a vehicle traveled east from the location. But the RP mentioned that the husband may have been grazed by one of the bullets. He's outside looking for them now. He was advised to go back into the home to your stage landing. You all right? Where at? We were sitting in our living room. Where you hit? I got hit in the for a little bit. Wait, okay, we got medical. You need medical? No, no. You sure? Fuck, I'm just. You sure you don't need medical, sir? No, I'm fine. How about we they come and check you out? Because it definitely looks like it hit you in the head. It hit me in the head, but I'm all right. Oh, you're all like right. Chuck Norris. No. I'm just, all right, let's go have a look. I'm really pissed because I don't have any guns on me. So I had to fire back. South Seven, he's refusing medical. No, they shot right through our door, and it was multiple shots. And it was like a drive-by. What the hell? Oh, shit. Did my wife and I were sitting right there. We heard eight shots, and they eight? went off fast. I mean, I counted them, because I heard it, because I thought it was like fireworks or something. Did, and, it, uh, did it bust your uh Oh, it went right through our door. Went right through the. Have you had problems with anybody? No, we, we just bought this house. Um, we just been... moved here. How long have you moved? How long have you lived here? Uh, we bought it last year. We're part-time residents. We still live in Washington State. Oh shh. Sh First of all, I think you can ask him. What? Oh. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It was multiple South shots. Seven. Hey, if you want to sit down, relax. Because. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just... No, he's not. He got. I'm good. Cell 7 be advised, there's multiple Pissed. bullet holes right, now, in the man. residence. One here, one in there, so there's... And it just missed us because we both sit right here. There's my wife's chair. And, and, wife's and one chair. of them hit you. It grazed me, something grazed me. All right, ma'am, we're going to come in. All right. You okay? Yeah, we're just All right. being shaken I got... up. We live in Yakima. Had this happen in Yakima? I'm, I mean, you know, it happens in Yakima. Right, here, let me take some pictures. It's so peaceful picture. here, it wasn't expected. Can you get your flag? If she would have been leaning back a little further, she'd probably be dead right now. So glad she's OK, and glad he's OK. Could have been a lot worse. How's your head? Uh, fine. I just, I just had to settle down, man. Have Can I get a picture of you real quick? Huh? Can I get a picture of your head real quick? Yeah. Talking about dodging a bullet, huh? Literally. Okay, apparently they just notified me that they found bullets in the road. We're gonna see if we can get some kind of evidence off the shell casings right now. See if we can possibly locate the shooter. We have eight shell casings as of now, and we only have two bullet holes. So whoever was shooting wasn't the best shot. Right now we have 11 shells that are on the road, and that's it. So we're thinking it's two shooters based on the projection of the bullets, and it's about it as now. Next step, we're gonna book the evidence for testing DNA so we can get some kind of evidence off of the shell. And as of that, uh, we were, there's really not a whole lot to go off. We don't have a vehicle description, no plate, no suspect information whatsoever. So we're just going to have to do some digging in this investigation. So we're going to a possible vehicle theft in progress, and supposedly the guy punched the RP in the head. But they don't have much other information than that right now, so. Probably fighting in the background. It's another fighting. It's all right, so you don't have to come all crazy.
crazy. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I know. I, it's the same. He's making fake police calls again. Okay. And then he hung up on you guys. Come on, come on. All right, come over here. Do you have your ID, bud? No, I don't have an ID on me. But he's mad because. All right, hold on. Come over here. And I'm tired of him. I want him right. taken by you guys because he's saying I, I, that I'm trying to take his car. I don't even have his keys. All right. I didn't hit him. You could check my hands. If I hit him, I'd have marks on my hands, sir. I haven't hit him. Why are you shaking so bad? It's cold. Oh, uh, is this the mom always called also? Mom, um, yeah, my mom didn't call this time. It's her boyfriend that called. Oh, yeah, but same house? Yeah. Oh, uh, And that's your car? Yes. And this is her car, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so she can do whatever she wants in her car. You can do whatever you want here. Well, she can't. You actually. don't want to not let him use that car? That's fine. Yeah, I do. That's what I don't know. He trying to even use okay. the car. I, was, I need to go back to town because I need to go get something to drink, and he's bitching. And no, when I just put my money in... How is he related to you? That's my son. That's your son, that's yeah. our son. And that's her son, and she's going to give him a ride to go pick up weed or whatever, get something to drink. But she doesn't understand. They don't put any gas in the... pockets? Do you have any weapons on you? No, no, I'm just like, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just pissed off because I put my money in for gas after he said, oh, we'll put money in for gas, and they don't put nothing. But I'm just tired of it, Karen. When he, he doesn't understand the word no, why can't he understand the word no? When I say no, it means no. And it's my car. Hey. Yeah. Yes, sir. Chill out. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. What's your deal, ma'am? You want to take him somewhere? You want to go to the store? Just okay. let him drive them. Let him drive them. Fine. Just what? Drive you and say, okay. Hey. My dad Real quick. My son. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> it's not my fault, Karen. He doesn't help at all. That's why. Look at my car compared to your car. He kicked a dent in my car hey. and he lied about it. Look at me. Relax. Calm down. I don't know why he gets away with everything, and you're saying right, I'm getting Peter, away with everything. Take him, talk to him, would you please? Yep. I've already talked Come to him. Here. Just keep him calm. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I'm getting tired of like being pushed around, like, oh, because I'm. He thinks he's older than me. I'm 27. He's 22, and thinks, and oh, I have to obey him because I'm dating the mom. Oh, he's I'm a bastard because I'm a dog fucker. I barely fucking. All right, let's calm down with the. No, so basically, um, I don't know why I'm being pushed around like a little kid by a punk that basically needs weed every second of his life, and it's sickening. They even smoke in my car, and they have no respect so, for it. So you're just the girlfriend? The mom's girlfriend? Yeah. Or boyfriend, I mean? Yeah, so me and her in a relationship. We're, mm -hmm, just leave here. You don't have to be here. Then. Are they going to get in your car or her car? Her, mine, originally. Okay, your mom and him? No, I'm, I'm dating the girl, well, Karen. That's right. I meant yeah. his mom. Yeah, basically, like I said, I don't know why we're on a... Break time schedule to get weed. It's not a necessity. It's not even a priority. Okay, well, at the end um, end of the day, it's your car, okay? Whoever you want to drive it, whether it be her like, or him. She wants to drive it, but I don't want him in it. He's not going to drive your car. When we leave, what are you going to do? I'm going to my room and playing Xbox. Tonight. Simple as that. You hear that? Simple as that, you know what I mean? He's going to go to his room and play Xbox. You don't talk to him, he doesn't talk to you. It turned out the car wasn't getting stolen, and they were just fighting. The mom's boyfriend was fighting with the mom's son because they're close in age, and they, the younger son doesn't believe he needs to listen to him or something. And it turned out it was just a big family dispute, and parties were separated for the night. We got these two females. They're leaving a shopping area with a shopping cart. Um, we got a huge problem with shopping cart theft, so we're going. Talk to me, so what's up? Oh. How you guys doing? All right. Good. Well, the reason I stopped you is because... The shopping cart. Whoa. Yes, the shopping cart. That was cold and wet. Yeah. All right. We're going grocery shopping. Everything's in the bags. Right. OK. My backpack, everything is full of groceries. OK. And we were supposed to meet the guys at the park so they can help us carry the bags home. OK. Who are those guys? Uh, my friend Ray. So Ray is going to help you carry your groceries back to your house. He should. He, he wants to eat, right? I, really I would hope eat. so. I would hope so too. But we, we got no help. Yeah, um, that's theft. Okay. Is that that's Do you guys store? have your IDs on you? Yeah. Oh my wallet. Your wallet. What is those things? That's my hula hoop. A hula hoop? I'm gonna be a flaming hula For what? For fun. A flaming <laughs> hula hoop? No, hula. actually, I'm trying to get a routine going. Where at? Anywhere. Do you guys get anything on you you're not supposed to have? No. 
maybe a hula hoop because it's in my bread bag. Okay. How about you? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm on the corner. Oh. Mm -hmm. Take your hands out of Hot your pockets. Okay, I'll well, take your hands out of your pockets, okay? All right. <laughs> Do me a favor. Uh, walk over here for me. Just don't go in the water because I know I just got my boots wet and it's a bad day. When was the last time you used meth? Last couple, couple days. Three days. Three days? I'm stoned. I just want to go Earlier home. today? No, I haven't done any today. You sure? Do you have any on you? No. That's the number you Carolyn. Do you use meth? She showed negative once no. a valid ID card. Okay. You don't like it? I mean, caffeine. So when was the last time you tried meth? Um, when was the last time you tried meth? Uh, it was probably three, four days ago. You say you, you smoked meth three days ago? But I'm gonna tell you right now, your pupils are the size of a pinhead. Pen? Pinhead. You see, you, you see this? This is a pinhead. Copy, I'll be on from there for a moment. And yours is the same way. Go for it. What's up? You smoked it? I told you. I don't want to I told you you smoked meth this morning. No. Okay. I knew that I from the it. start. I admitted it, okay? You smoked meth this morning too, didn't you? But I'm trying to go home. It's not what I want. It's not. It's I destroying you. Oh. Well, no, all you need is love. Since wars begin in the minds of men, it is in the minds of men that the defense of peace must be constructed. I wrote that when I was on heroin. And okay. I've been off of heroin for three years. So bad I mean, if you're going to go into war, you better be prepared to clean up the mess that's done, when it's done. Well, I don't plan on going no, into if war. If you're going to go to make up a sandwich, uh -huh. be willing to put the bread away and the jelly. And Absolutely. Put it and clean up your mess. Absolutely. That's what that means. Okay. Like, I made my mess. Okay. And now it's time to clean it up. Yes. So ultimately, they're both going to jail for under the influence of controlled substance. It's kind of weird. A shopping cart led to two felony arrests. So, you know, the simple misdemeanor stops, you know, actually turned into something. This was a uh, landlord-tenant dispute right here. Um, what he's serving him is the paperwork basically stating that if the rent isn't paid in full, that he's going to be filing for an eviction notice through the courts. South 19, I'll be out at 1570 Appaloosa. All right, what's going on? Yeah, he's, he's uh, very upset. Okay. All right. Get the hell out of that property. Hey, John. Go to cops and you, you son of a bitch. We just have some paperwork, all right? He's going to give you some paperwork, all right? I don't want no paperwork from that son of a bitch. I don't want him on here. I all right. Already told the cops he has paperwork to, to serve you, okay? Do what? He has paperwork to serve you. Once he serves that, we'll get off your property. What must he want to serve me for? Paperwork regarding your rent. I don't have to pay any rent. Okay, well, that's going to be a civil issue you guys got to work no, out. No, he worked it out 20 years ago I've been here. Okay, well, he's going to serve you the paperwork regarding well, he, your rent, all right? You better not step on his porch. All right. I, I let you up here. You son free. of a bitch. I told you I was going to be here today, and he didn't get here till now. I let you be here for rent free for 18 that, years. That's right, and I paid all the utilities and fixed yeah, the fucking trailer up and everything else. You're, Two months behind any utilities. I've been in a hospital for 30 days, and, and you son of a bitch, and you know the, it. All right, do you want to send the paperwork that we... I'd I like, I like to say a word, if I may. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. He told me when I was in a hospital, he called me about four days before I got out. I just got out yesterday. Okay. He said, you got an electric bill of $210 here. Somebody turned it turn the power on. Okay. It wasn't me, I was in a hospital. Okay. I don't want him ever on his property again. Uh, we're gonna leave once he gives you the paperwork, okay? This is my property. I don't care who took care of it. The fact that you owned two months of the power bill. I don't bill, own is, two months on a power bill. Two, part of the rent. There it is, you haven't paid me. I've been here, I've been here 20 years. And that's yeah. some, basically that paper rent here. And that's something you can work of, out in the court. Well, I pay the rent okay. on the third of every month. And that's something you can, here and that's something you can work out in court. That's for sure something you can bring up. Take it to court and don't listen to him. That's basically what that paper is stating. Serving the paperwork. All right, you want us to come out and provide us a little standby, all right? Sign the bottom You're lucky, Buck. You're a lucky son of a bitch. Take that. I sign this. Right there on the bottom where that X is. And you'll get a copy of that as well. I will? Okay. Yes. I'm sorry my pants fell down, but 
I can't. That's my paper. I'll get you. Matt, I'll get it for you. There. That's your copy, sir. Here you go. All right, you want to pull your pants up, sir? Yeah. All right. You can see I got to put a belt on. What the hell kind of landlord are you? Wait, wait, wait till the people in here hear about you. you right, sir, just go ahead and wait over there, all right? Yeah, get the hell out of here. We were able to resolve the situation for today. Um, we got the tenant's power and water back on. I let the landlord know you can't just cut their utilities off just because they uh, are behind in payment. You got to go through the courts, um, file your eviction paperwork, and go through the legal process.